you can't be so hard slamming down that eggnog. <laughs> it's making too much noise on the... Slamming it down? Slamming it's not it slamming back. it down. Slamming the glass down. It's not, you make it feel like this is a bar in like an old uh, Western movie. And make it a double. <laughs> a double eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Leo. Uh, Merry Christmas. This is uh, our Christmas episode of uh, Lunchbox Sociable. Uh, so uh, Merry Christmas, Leslie. I got you a little something. Here's... Um, some uh, scratch, scratch, scratch and scratch, scratch and sniff, scratch and sniff. <laughs> scratch and win. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I want you to see if you win something during this episode because yeah. I want to know if I need to uh, come after you for something. I don't even know how those uh, those Neither work. Neither do I, but I, I'll do them before the end of the episode. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, tasty eggnog. Oh, you put uh, you put nutmeg on them, eh? Yeah. Oh wow. Nutmeg on the eggnog. Mmm. So, I'm uh, I'm dressed for this. Let's, uh, Let's get started. I've even got I've I've got my 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 um, Jamie Boggs on. Your plaid. <laughs> I, I, I Your buffalo got, check. I don't <laughs> hurt myself. I even got. Can you see these? Yep. I even got my uh, your buffalo check socks. Yeah. Is that what this is? It's called Buffalo Check. Oh, I always what, thought... Your shirt. What yeah. your shirt is? Yeah. I thought it was a Sudbury dinner jacket. Well, it could be that, too. I thought it was just the, the uh, Black Jacques Chirac look. Yeah, it's a bit that, too. I'm loving the jaunty cap. Yeah. All right. Uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Bruce Springsteen. Ooh. Or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Dean Martin. Oh, that's 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 mean. Because you know I'm a <laughs> Dean Martin fan. Because I go, yeah, I would have... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Dean. I'm gonna go. Rudolph. I'm gonna go with uh, Dean Martin because just no, he'd be. He'd have. You know, he'd be singing it. He'd have the drink and the yeah. cigarette going. He'd just do it. So you said, you know, Bruce Springsteen. They flog that, you know, Santa Claus is coming to town song every Christmas. Have you or you and Lunchbox Social ever done a Christmas song? Uh, no, I don't. Oh well. Okay, we've done one of our own. Uh, uh, a song called uh, The Wish Book. And uh, back in, oh, make it sound like years ago, 2018 or 2019, uh, a song about, you know, the, the, Sears, uh, the Sears Wish Book. You know, you'd, 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 you'd come in like August. Yeah. And it's like, wow. And like when you lived on the farm in the, in the, the 70s, that was it. That, this, this was it. This was the only thing. And you would just go through the pages and look at all these toys. And oh, there's bras in here and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, would you, go, would you cut the, the toys? Bra. Out that you wanted, no, but I cut the bras out. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I ever got anything from, from I don't think I ever got to, but it just gave you, you know, it was just, you just dream about, you dream about, well, those people are having great lives. Yeah. <laughs> they looked all so happy. You don't just want the toys, you want their whole life. You know what yeah. I really want? You know what I really wanted? You know what that section? <laughs> was the refrigerator section. You open up and you see the refrigerators and all the stuff that was in them. It's like, oh, look at the stuff that are in these refrigerators. You know that the food doesn't come with the refrigerator. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. But it's like, wow, yeah. those are lucky people. I don't think we had the wish book in Montreal. Ours was the Eaton's catalog. That was the big oh. big thing. And it was thick. It had to be like yeah. an yeah. inch and a half thick. Was, it, was the wish book Sears or the wish yeah, book? Sears. The wish book was Sears, right? Yeah. Eh? Well, what was the wish book? big in Montreal, but okay. Eaton's was big in yeah. Montreal. I remember getting, maybe we got both because I got to eat and now I was thinking oh did I write the song for the wrong company <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we did the uh, we did the, uh, the wish book back in uh, I think it was 2018 and that was did, one of your first videos too it was wasn't one, of the, it? one of the first videos uh, I look back at it now and kind of cringe <laughs> 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 you 
You could redo it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Not this but I thought you were going to ask me, did I, did I, uh, have I ever played, like ever knew other people's... Yeah, uh, or played so, any other no, Christmas songs. No, uh, with the exception of being in grade school and I was learning the, uh, the accordion. And, <laughs> and I did learn what... Uh, uh oh tannenbaum that's that yeah. one is that the christmas tree song yeah, yeah. Oh, oh christmas, christmas tree, tree yeah. yeah yeah right so i i could um, that's, how I, <laughs> that's, how, that's how you play the accordion <laughs> that's why i was so bad because yeah. <laughs> i play it like that uh what was christmas like for you growing up on the farm well lots of uh lots of memories uh you know, it's, it was uh, tough living uh, on the farm. It's not. It's not all. Uh, it's hard work, and it's. Uh, it was. There's lots of uh, lonely, isolated moments out uh, out in the country, especially in the. You know, when we didn't have the internet or anything like that. It was. Uh, it, was all, it was a long winter, but Christmases were were not bad. And like two TV channels. Right? <laughs> yeah, we had to, yeah. Um, You know, we have that art. We had an artificial tree. We always had an artificial tree. Oh, why? I don't know. My mother got it. <laughs> my mother got it, and I don't know if it's in the late '60s or early '70s. So it was the kind that has the, um, the, the all the branches. Uh, you had a big pole, uh, three pieces of pole, and we had holes drilled into it, and there were all there were paint on the tips, color coded, uh, color coded. So you had to know. And there was that. You know, if we lost that one little piece of paper, <laughs> we were so we pull that. Pull that uh, the, the tree up in uh, in like late uh, November, and as the years would go by, that poor tree would get more, <laughs> just get beat up by the cats and whatever, and it would be like wonky this way, walking that way. There'd always be string holding it to to the wall here, and another piece of string holding the tree up the other side. It was in rough shape, but I would pull that tree, and, and then all the ornaments that would come out of the old trunk in the basement. My mother was always the one in charge for whatever reason. Only she could put on the the lights with the big honk and silver mm, uh, reflectors, reflectors. The bulbs are <laughs> the big, huge bulbs, uh, and the loads of tinsel. Oh, I miss the tinsel. I loved I loved all the tinsel over, over the uh, the tree. So uh, the Christmas tree was always a big production. Uh, I really uh, I really enjoyed. That's a, that's a great memory. Um, we wouldn't open the presents until. Uh, late in the morning because we had to go out and you know do all the chores out in the uh, out in the barn and my father had had be gone off to, uh, to off to the racetrack to look after the horses there uh, give his guy that, that day off uh, and so we wouldn't open the the presents till later in the morning and uh, uh, my sister had already known for years like or not for years but for years she'd always open up the packages my older sister opened up the pack like the the uh, she could, she just to, to snoop and see what it was she was getting, so there got to be a time where my mother just did the, every every present in the exact same wrapping paper, and didn't label anything. Mm. So <laughs> it should be so on Christmas we'd have to like whose is this? And she'd have to think, oh, I think that's I think that's Leo's, or I think that's, <laughs> that's right, whose whose present it was. So. Uh, it was uh, and that's it was fun how you times. ended up getting your first doll for yeah. Christmas. <laughs> yes, first of many. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a little Christmas rapid fire. Yeah, but I don't do <laughs> I don't do rapid answer. <laughs> oh, we'll do our best. Okay. Okay. Best present. Uh, circular saw, Rockwell circular saw. I was probably thirteen, maybe twelve or thirteen. And I got that was a surprise present. Uh, oh, so it wasn't something you asked for? Uh, uh, no, I meant uh, I probably asked for it, uh, but it was a surprise. After everything was all done and over, Christmas was all done, and my mother waited like about two or three hours. And uh, and then she said, "I think there's, I think there might be some, there might be another present up in your room from Santa Claus." <laughs> yeah, from Santa. And like, you know, who give, <laughs> what twelve year old boy is getting a circular saw? <laughs> Take my fingers off. There was never we didn't even worry about stuff. Is it going to be that or that or that lawn dart <laughs> yeah. or, or the wood burning kit? But uh, circular saw for sure. Okay. Uh, favorite Christmas movie. Uh, favorite Christmas movie. Uh, rapid fire, Leo. Okay, rapid fire. Um, okay, let me. I'm going to go to top three. Uh, <laughs> top three, and I'll see if I can narrow it down to one. So it's that it's that movie with the little boy with the glasses and the and the and the. It, I think it's oh, called a Christmas, Christmas story. A Christmas story yeah. with the, You're going to take your eye out, kid. So that would be that one. Uh, Die Hard. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, but I probably going to give the nod to uh, Love Actually. Okay. There's just too many, too many good moments of uh, of Lo Love Actually. Okay. Favorite old school Christmas song. Ooh, old school. So like from like a long time ago. Uh, ooh, so many. Um, I like that. Uh, Oh, I can't think of the name of it. You know, like, do you see what I see? Do you, do you see, see what, what I see? That's What's it called? Name. That's the song. Do you see what I see? Oh, yeah. So it, it might... Joy to the World's pretty good, too. I kind of like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. And favorite new new world or new school? <laughs> new, new, new school. school. Uh, well, I definitely don't like... Uh, well, they ask, can we can we can we circle back to worst uh, Christmas songs? I don't think that was on my list, but sure, worst Christmas song. <laughs> okay, let's do that first. Okay. Worst Christmas song uh, is going to be either uh, uh, Feliz Navidad because okay. that's all that's these things is over yeah. and over. Uh, Paul McCartney's. Um, uh, Oh my God! Uh, simply yeah. having, yeah. and they just repeat. Yeah. Like, okay, I got one line. I'll just repeat this over and over. But I'm really gotten sick of the Mariah Carey song as well. Okay, okay that's uh, so favorite new school song. Probably, wow, wow, okay. Can new school can be within the last twenty years, right? Sure. <laughs> For you, yeah. And in okay. the last <laughs> twenty five years, we are the world. <laughs> what is that? Do what they is, know it's Christmas? Do they know it's Christmas the time? Song? <laughs> It's that one. It's that one. Or uh, The Pretender's uh, 2,000 Miles. That's a great song. Uh, uh, and, and maybe that, it's, baby, it's cold out. Uh, I, like, I like that one just because I know that there's a whole bunch of people wanted to cancel that. So that made me like that song even more. Okay. But probably The 2,000 Miles. Okay. That, that's a good choice. Uh, favorite TV, uh, Christmas TV show? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we're doing this rapid fire. <laughs> uh, favorite TV show? Probably, uh, probably, probably The Grinch. Okay. Uh, that would be up there. Um, in, in, yeah, probably, probably The Grinch, but I do like the uh, Rudolph the, with the, uh, with the, uh, the abominable snowman. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and there was one. Oh God! It was just the name of one of the reindeers, and starred uh, Sam Elliott. Um, oh gosh! What? Well, who are? They? It's I think it's Dasher. Dasher? <laughs> it wasn't Dancer. It was Prancer? Oh, it might have been Prancer. <laughs> you see the Dasher, Prancer, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Yeah. So we see the Dasher or Prancer. Santa Claus didn't survive grade three for you. Yeah, I don't think Santa Claus. Uh, Survived, got, got past uh, grade three, and it was going to get harder and harder because uh, our best friends lived down the uh, down the road, the Witzke family, and they're German, and they celebrated everything uh, on Christmas Eve. So it's like, oh, and, you know, they'd come over, you know, like at eight o'clock Christmas Eve. Yeah, we here's our presents, and it was always like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me get this right. So Santa's already dropped stuff off at your house in the mid-afternoon. <laughs> it was still daylight uh, while you guys were out somewhere. And then he's going to circle, go around the world, and then circle back to Aramasa Township <laughs> sometime during the, uh, the night to drop off my presents. So it was getting, uh, it was getting harder and harder to... You started to deduce. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so the, the Witzke family... Uh, Kind of, but on the upside of the Witzke family was, uh, oh my gosh, Mrs. Witzke, uh, she did so much baking. So, uh, and she'd have it in these big jars and these big glass jars out in the, in the porch. And every time I'd go over, I, you know, we'd always get a, a little bit of, uh, of German baking. What were your other favorite Christmas treats? Uh, my mother made, uh, an Italian treat called Scalili, uh, and you would dip them in honey or dip them in, or cover them in, in, um, in uh, icing sugar, but probably the biggest treat, and we only got them at Christmas time, were uh, were turtles. <laughs> and, so, and each day I'd get like one turtle, and I remember eating it. As, actually, I think I still eat them the same way because turtles have the little all the little pecans. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, poking out of the side. So I would just slowly just work my way around because <laughs> I knew I had to make this this turtle last. <laughs> I had to make this turtle last like a, two hours. <laughs> you really do savor your food. I do savor the food. 
<laughs> but because we only get them at at, uh, at uh, Christmas time, and uh, it was uh, that was at such even now, if I if you give me a, a, a turtle, I'm it's it's like being eight again and on the farm and uh, and having a turtle. Any sad memories? Well, Christmas is a tough time. Christmas is a tough time for a lot of people. I've had. I've had lots of uh, I've had lots of good Christmases. Well, I've had I've had uh, I've had sad Christmases. Uh, I know uh, there was one Christmas that I spent Christmas uh, building a wall down in my basement. Uh, that's that's pretty sad. I put on uh, I put on Van, Best of Van Halen and I just put it on repeat. And I started uh, at like around at eight o'clock at night. And I worked till like about uh, four o'clock in the morning. I thought, well, you know, Jesus was a carpenter. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I built the wall on uh, Christmas. But uh, there was there was tough times as well in the uh, growing up on the uh, growing up on the farm. You know, I didn't we didn't have the most harmonious uh, uh, family, and uh, there there were a tough time. We usually kind of pulled it together for Christmas Day. We kind of. Uh, had a little truce on uh, Christmas Day, so uh, uh, you know we we tried our best to uh, to get along for that uh, the one day. But it's uh, it's tough. I have lots of memories, lots of good memories, but lots of sad memories of uh, Christmas. Heck, I've got one of one of my favorite memories is your memory of mine. <laughs> yes, when you tell that story, when um, when you went when you went to Montreal. And all the effort of going to Montreal and uh, to see your mom, and you would just you would just arrive, and, and she'd already be planning. Oh yeah, okay. So <laughs> it, it it didn't matter where we were having Christmas, whether we were having it here in Toronto or we having it in Montreal. But it didn't. It, it seemed like. We couldn't even get through one Christmas before she was already talking about what we were yeah, going to do for yeah, next yeah. year's Christmas. My mom loved Christmas. Yeah. Christmas, Easter, yeah. all the holidays. She loved uh, Thanksgiving. She loved them all because uh, she loved to cook and loved, loved to have people around. So, um, yeah, so I think the earliest that she ever talked about Christmas was three days before Christmas. Yeah, when you were she was right. talking about what we were going to do next <laughs> Christmas. So we hadn't even gotten through this Christmas yet. There's a, a great... A great memory I have is uh, in high school. <clears throat> as difficult as high school was for me, we uh, at Christmas time we did uh, um, square dancing. Mm. Square dancing? Yeah, square dancing. Square dancing? <laughs> I'm kind of getting, second guessing myself. <laughs> square dancing. And there was this one girl that I was just crazy about. And <laughs> so what we would do is the all the all the boys would line up. And then all, on one side of the gym, and all the girls would line up the other side of the gym, and then we would just kind of walk together, and then meet, and then and then whoever you you meet is who you're going to be your partner. And I always be okay, one, seven, nine, eighteen, nine, nine, twenty, twenty, and I'd be counting where, and I got, I'd be, I'd be kind of moving myself around between guys to, to get to that. And you know, sometimes I'd line up perfectly with her, and other times, oh, I'm off by one, and oh, <laughs> just. <laughs> Prizes must be claimed by <laughs> December 31st, 2021. Thanks a lot, Leo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he re gifted me lottery tickets that are more than a year old. <laughs> Oh my God! It would be terrible if you did win. And so they go, "Yeah, you're Sorry. not getting this. <laughs> it's expired." <laughs> this is one of my favorite, if not my the favorite, uh, uh, Christmas ornament. And it's uh, can you zoom in? Can you <laughs> zoom in? It's and it's uh, Bruce Willis as John McClane uh, in a vent. <laughs> you know when he goes, uh, "Come on to the coast, have a few laughs." Oh, a little bit, no, yep. a little higher. Oh, higher. oh, oh, oh. No, uh, right there. Yeah, That's good. come on to the coast, we'll have a few laughs. Hey, light it with the lighter. <laughs> All right, so like a Christmas present, let's wrap this thing up. 
Well, thank you very much, Leslie, for uh, all the, the hard work on the, uh, the podcast this year. I look forward to a 2023 and doing more podcasts and music and working with you. And uh, so that's uh, me and John McLean just saying, uh, what was the, what was the phrase? Come to the coast. We'll <laughs> yeah. have a good time. <laughs> yippee ki <-yay>, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, so uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New, everyone. And I will... Uh, I just say happy, what did I say there? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Did I say Happy New Year? Yeah. Okay. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody. And we'll uh, see you on uh, another podcast. All right. Well, we're wrapping up. So what are your parting thoughts on Christmas, Christmas season, Christmas music, Christmas food, any of those things? Well, just that, uh, well, I got nothing. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Can we just wrap this up? I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> you really caught me off guard with that. <laughs>